Right, so we haven't even got the M1X MacBook Pros yet, but we have leaks about future MacBook Pros and namely the displays they might use because we have reports that maybe Apple could be transitioning from mini LED to OLED on their MacBook Pros as soon as next year, which of course might not make a ton of sense to you guys. But anyways, let's delve into this. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so this report begins with Samsung Display apparently beginning mass production for new OLED panels with a 90Hz refresh rate that's going to be used in many laptops in the near future. But what's interesting is that the Alec and Digitimes have reported that Apple could also be using these panels for their next generation MacBook Pros. Now, of course, in the past, I've covered similar reports about the iPads also transitioning from mini LED to OLED. And of course, like I said in those videos, this makes no sense because Apple rarely changes the display type they use on the iPad and the Mac. In fact, up until this year, the iPads has been using LCD since the conception of the iPads. And so it's kind of unrealistic that Apple's going to be investing all this money into development of mini LED panels, and then they just throw that all away and use OLED displays instead. That just makes no sense, like I said. So yes, I don't see this happening. And that's where display analyst Ross Young swoops in because he says this won't be the case and instead Apple plans to make OLED Macs in 2023 to 2024 with an emphasis on 2024. He also said the Macs are going to get this upgrade only after the iPads get OLED first. Now this time frame that Ross Young gives us is a lot more believable because I definitely see Apple using mini LED for at least a few generations of the iPad Pros and of course the MacBook Pros. And so 2024 for the Max adopting OLED could make sense. Could being the main word because there's another confusing part about this rumor and that is OLED is inferior to mini LED in certain aspects. Now I'm not a display expert, but as far as I know, mini LED is basically a better version of OLED. It's got the great colors, the deep blacks, pretty much everything people love from OLED, but you don't get burn-in. And this is the main point because macOS has a lot of static elements to it. And I feel like OLED would be a recipe for disaster on the Macs since of course a lot of users are going to be complaining about burn-in. You see, to an extent, I can buy that we could see OLEDs on the iPad because much like the iPhone that has OLEDs, iOS and iPadOS always have elements that are moving, but that is definitely not the case with the Mac. For example, the status bar on the top is constantly there for hours. So yeah, it just sounds like a bad idea to give us OLEDs on the Mac. I think the only reason I'm trying to rationalize and understand this report is because it's from Ross Young, a very credible source. He's always super accurate, and so I doubt this rumor is completely false. And so maybe by 2024, Samsung Display gives us an OLED panel that can somehow minimize burn-in and can also match the brightness levels of mini LED. And of course, you might remember there were blooming issues, and so maybe that's why they're switching to OLED. I guess the best part about this report is that we could see high refresh rate displays on the MacBooks very, very soon, and this would be a nice addition considering that we now have it on the iPhone, and of course we've had it on the iPad for years now, so I think it's time the Mac gets this upgrade too. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above on details regarding the M1X MacBook Pros, and on that note I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.